So I have a opportunity to uh, work on a design that has a a volute or an involute. Um, so I did a little research on what it takes to create one, and I thought I would try to create that curve uh, within Solid Edge. So we have a very simple uh, sketch in the 2D model environment. We look at our relationship handles. I have made just a few relationships to constrain this completely. Uh, we have a dimension. I've, thus, I've assigned a, a variable of r to it uh, for 0.5. We have an a and we have an l. And in case you're not aware, you just right click and choose show names you want to see the variable name instead of the value. So let's take a look at the variables table to see what we have for formula. Uh, so we have um, the L, which is the, the length of that little line, being driven by AL, which is kind of made a intermediate variable here to make my life a little easier. And I've used the radians function here. Um, so we're, the function returns the radians of that angle, uh, um, the value in radians, and then multiplies it times the radius uh, up here, uh, which is r. So this seems to be correct for uh, the involute definition. So I'm going to set this initially to a very small value. Zero is not allowed. So we'll do 0 0.001 degrees, which is very small. And it's an opportunity to use the uh, path tracer macro, which is available on GitHub, along with all the source code. Uh, this little macro simply allows you to choose a user variable and then um, it will drive it to a limit and um, it, it the way it works as you as it progresses through each increment it tracks the point that's at the end there's only one point in this case so it it moves the increment observes the location of the point moves the increment and does this for as many times as you specify the increment. Um, so it will create a curve then at the end through those points. So we'll just process that. And there we have it, um, an involute curve. Uh, isn't necessarily associative, of course, um, but you could run this again and again until you get the, the shape that you want. Thanks for watching.